I'm outside Fort Dunlop, the new home of the Birmingham Post and Mail. It's an absolutely beautiful day. So what better to do than to test drive a brand new electric car, C1 EV, with our motoring correspondent, Ed Stevens. expect from an electric car. It's got plenty of punch. Uh, it's not lacking in power. It's ideal for the city. Um, and of course you, you save a lot of money really. Um, apparently it'll go for 60 miles on one charge which will cost you about 90 pence in electricity. As the same car with a petrol engine in it would uh, cost you about £4.20 so you're, you're saving three quarters of the cost so that's got to be good news and the important thing about this car unlike <clears throat> a lot of electric cars is that you've got a full four seater most small electric cars have only got two seats and the batteries are packed into the back this is the first conventional car that gives you four seats and also the full space in the boot for all your luggage so you get the best of all worlds, really. If you live in London, you don't pay any congestion charges, and there are places where you can park free of charge. Um, whether the same thing would apply in Birmingham remains to be seen. Because there's no emissions from the car, you don't have to pay any road tax, so you benefit there as well. The car is more expensive than the conventional C1 as a petrol vehicle, but you do save an awful lot of money. And if the government does decide to give a loan or a grant of £5,000 towards it, that will reduce the cost tremendously and make it even better value. Well, on a normal Citroen C1, you'd lift up the uh, bonnet and, of course, find the traditional engine. But on this one, this is where it varies. You lift it up and there you've got batteries. The engine's been removed and there's a pack of batteries ready to power you on your way. Now, the car is charged by simply plugging it into a normal... 13 amp domestic socket overnight. Um, full charge will take about six hours if the battery has been completely depleted. The car can be charged for shorter times and you will get the benefit of the amount of charge you put, put in. So if you charge it for a couple of hours you will get about a third of the charge. I've been driving around Birmingham for some time now and I've even been on the motorway and we still haven't run out of battery power. There's an awful lot left. So there's a lot to be said for this little car. It's not the quickest car that you'd imagine but then you don't expect it to be with the amount of batteries that it's got on board. It carries a range of about 60 miles and takes about 7 hours to recharge so it's ideal for charging overnight or if you're in the office during the daytime. <clears throat> and if you're worried about driving it, there's no problem. You just move the gear lift forward to go forward and back to go back. You can even take your driving test in it if you want to. It's classed as an automatic car. There's a lot to be said for the economies of scale here. You'd have to do your sums, particularly if you're in Birmingham and not in London. The manufacturers claim that if you're a London resident, you can actually recoup the amount that you spend on the car over the basic Citroen C1 in about a year. Whether that would work in Birmingham without congestion charges, you'd have to do the summons, as I say.